So another Poundland Delight, and this time it's a little LED floodlight, and it didn't cost a pound, it cost five pounds. And it's one of these little irritating 10 watt LED lights, but or higher power, that come with the glass physically glued in. They've already had a go trying to gently prise it up at one corner, and all I've done is deform the metal. So that this is one of these new era of LED floodlights that they're not really what you'd call serviceable. They're just, you know, a disposable item, which is quite annoying. But I thought it'd be quite interesting just to sacrifice this one and uh, open it up and see how that's glued in and whether it's like that they could be prized out and then resealed because it as with all these other LED floodlight uh, cases if it could be opened and reclosed it would be a nice uh, project case for uh, either some electronic circuitry or a solar panel under glass and a sort of with maybe batteries tucked away underneath it as well so um, let's uh, explore that a little bit further and for those of you who wanted to see it lit, there it is lit before I take it to bits. Well, I have to say, opening that was not easy. In the end, I broke off most of the metal around the outside. I was trying to slice underneath the blade, could not get it off. Uh, in the end, Vince uh, got a hammer and a screwdriver and chapped it in until this was physically forced off. But we cracked the glass in the process around the edges. It's all a bit chipped. And... Uh, that kind of means that, you know, it's a silicon adhesive that's holding it on, so it's not going to be very serviceable. That's a shame, because uh, otherwise, you know, it's one, of these, it's one of these things that it would have been nice being able to service this, but I, I guess it is ultimately disposable. But once you get inside, that's when it gets very interesting. Let's get up close and personal in here. So for a start, it is earth. That's good. I would expect that. This is a Poundland product, so, and their electrical standards are pretty high. Uh, noting incidentally that if water can penetrate down the inside of a cable so this doesn't bode well there's no ceiling around the top of that it means that water could get in and when that happens if this is completely sealed you're going to see condensation inside the glass which is a bit disappointing but it's just a cheap generic product you just have to make sure that wherever the cables terminated uh, is in a waterproof enclosure or one that's drained to uh, avoid the end ever getting sort of submerged in water as sometimes happen junction boxes but this module is neat because the incoming supply goes through a fuse, then it's got a metal oxide varistor, as is common with this type of circuitry, to clamp any voltage spikes and protect it from uh, the transients. It's got a bridge rectifier here, a 1 mega ohm resistor across that, it's got a smoothing capacitor, and that is quite unusual. Then it's got a current regulation component. Uh, I couldn't see any markings on this with uh, an 18 ohm resistor in, uh, as a sense resistor. Then it's got the LEDs, and I'm guessing these LEDs are multiple chip components. I'm guessing there's more than one LED in each of these packages. And uh, another thing that's noticed about this is that you can see this sort of heat sink -y stuff oozing. Is that wet heat sink? Yes, it's wet heat sink compound. What's interesting is that they've not tried to glue this or clamp this down as many of the other ones do. Yes. Thank you Vince. That was, I'm sure that would be absolutely delicious. This incidentally, how many are they selling now? It used, used to say more than six million of these biscuits made and sold every week and eaten by fat cunts probably. <laughs> I did not mean to say that. Hold on. Hold on. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Do you know, all I have to do is this. Peggy 18. <laughs> and it's okay now. Oh, is it? Uh, anyway, uh, it has these brackets. Uh, that's not even visible, uh, Vince, that's because fine. I've got a super narrow vision, so they can't actually see this cocktail, this B52 cocktail that's a bit sort of floaty. After you work. I, oh, I'd never ever drink during work. That would be terrible. Um, but unlike uh, others that clamp these down with screws and have adhesive holding this on, this has these little plastic clamps that hold it down and that probably allows a bit of thermal expansion and contraction, which uh, would actually make this uh, very reliable. So the weakest component is likely to be the LEDs and whether you're going to get the black spot of death appear in these. But other than the fact it's completely unserviceable because it's a shame, it would have been a really nice and readily available, I'm just going to zoom back out, case from Poundland if this had been uh, held on by a clamp with screws. Uh, but as it is, as an actual light, a sealed light, it actually looks pretty good quality.